but you can like feel your heartbeat in your face. It's like da 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 da. Don't peek your skin, peek bandage. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the acne channel. Yay! As you can see, I finally fixed my wall. Kind of, it's like in the process. Other than that, nothing really new here. My skin is still doing amazing. So happy, so happy. Anyways, I am a little sick, so bear with me if I'm not as energized as normal. All the weather changes, it's like snowing, and then it's hot, and then it's snowing again, and then it's 70 degrees the next day. It's like really messing with my lymph nodes and all this stuff, so. Hopefully it just gets hot and stays hot. Today, what I want to talk about, what I've seen a lot of people talking about on YouTube recently, is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. This is from Amazon. I think it's usually under like $10, which is crazy because this is one of the things that really truly does work. This mask is amazing and I'm going to tell you why. Besides clean beauty, this mask is also one of the things that has helped my skin and that I use on a consistent basis. This mask is super powerful. It's extremely deep cleaning. When you put it on, you can literally feel your face pulsating and you can feel it drawing all the toxins out of your skin. I would say if you do have sensitive skin, five to 10 for sensitive skin and 15 to 20 for normal skin, don't, I would not let it dry completely because this mask is so freaking powerful, I'm not kidding. It will turn your face red if you leave it on too long and probably dry out your skin. So just make sure that you leave it on for the appropriate amount of time. I found that out my first try. But this mask is really great mixed either with water or apple cider vinegar. A lot of people mix it with apple cider vinegar because ACV has so many great skin healing properties it balances your skin's pH it helps to fade discoloration it restores like a back good bacteria on the skin which is super important not just in your body but on your skin as well so this mixed with apple cider vinegar is typically what people do and the reason why this works so well is because it does help to pull out toxins from the body this clay I might have gotten this mixed up but I think this clay has a negatively charged ion, whereas toxins are usually positively charged. So this actually attaches itself to them and is able to draw them out of your skin, which is pretty freaking insane. Also, if you guys know what earthing is, I sound like a hippie. Earthing is basically where your feet are touching the ground and so you're becoming one with the earth. It's supposed to be really great for your body. It's supposed to have some kind of electrical charge that helps you feel re-energized. I don't know if you've ever walked around barefoot and then just felt like amazing after, barefoot on the sand, barefoot on the grass, you know what I mean? That's what earthing is. This kind of does the same thing. So this has an electrical charge when you mix it with water, yeah pretty cool and then that electrical charge you put onto your skin and then that is what helps to draw out all the toxins and not only can you put this on your skin you can take it internally as well so this has a lot of nutrients and vitamins in it as well and it can help to detox toxins not just on your skin but in your body the only thing that you have to make sure is that with this you aren't mixing with a metal spoon or bowl because again it is like going to have a charge to it so if you mix it with metal it's actually going to impact the charge and it won't be as powerful i know all this sounds kind of crazy but it's true it's true so make sure you're using just like a wooden spoon a regular bowl and you will be good water or apple cider vinegar some people use like rose water too a lot of people like the benefits of rose water or you could try witch hazel there's so many different things that you could mix it with those are just like the two most popular i personally only use it once a week and i usually mix it with another mask as well like the chlorophyll mask from coco kind or the activated charcoal clay mask from banish i always mix it with this because i like to get some extra added benefits so that is why i add those into this but this alone again is great and with this i found that you can use this on cystic acne which i feel like has made the biggest difference for me see my skin look how oh my gosh girl look at that look at that oh girl okay i see you i see you i see you this does help with cyst a crap ton you put this on a pimple like a cyst and it'll help to reduce the inflammation it'll help to out the bacteria i've noticed after using it my pimples actually get smaller the cystic spot will get smaller 
And with this, I like to do something called, well, obviously it's called masking, but I like to mask a spot and kind of smother it. Like I'll leave it on assist overnight and then rinse it off in the morning. And it will literally draw all of the crap out and it'll get completely flat. And if it's not completely flat, it's definitely like reduced in size. You gotta try it, it's good, especially if you have cystic acne. This says that you can also use it for foot soaks, knee packs, and insect bites, which makes sense because it pulls out the bacteria from your face, skin, so why would it pull out bacteria from an insect bite? Acne, body wraps, and you can put this in your bath as well. Like, so if you ever use, you know, Epsom salt or mineral bath soaks, this would be great to detoxify your body as well. Hopefully you guys learned something different from this video. I know a lot of people have been talking about this mask lately. I just wanted to put in my two cents. If you have tried this mask, let me know down in the comments below whether or not it worked for you. I find that it's usually, it's amazing for someone or it's terrible and they feel like it ruined their life. So <laughs> let me know which one it was for you. I really feel like this is probably the most powerful mask I have. It's one of those masks that is like, you can literally feel your, oh, this sounds weird, but you can like feel your heartbeat in your face. It's like, duh, 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 cause it's like pulling everything out. It's great, I love it. I'm like addicted to the feeling. Okay, I'm done. That's it. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching the Acne channel. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe down below. And that is it. See you next time. Bye.